What is this? What are you doing? What? What is this and what are you doing? Shelves and I'm trimming the nose. <laughs> Can you explain what you're doing for the camera? Attaching this to that. That's simple enough. Well, it's 10 o'clock. I'm back out in the shop again. The uh, install we were on today, we had a little drawer needs to be modified and it's supposed to finish up tomorrow morning. So between now and then it's gotta get done. So we'll start in on it. Move the project I was working on so I could finish the other project so I can get the other project so I can get back and work on that project again. So there's a pullout that's going under the sink. Um, but of course there's pipes under the sink, so we gotta notch out here and make a spot there where the pipes to go in. This was supposed to be done last week. Someone who shall remain nameless forgot. I'll throw wood in the wood stove. It's winter time, getting cold. Check my paper. No paper at all. That's a problem. There's my 220. Paper all in place. Clamp it down. What are you guys doing? Well, they just fire. Stove and... I don't know, that's just talking about starting a night shift. I'm working a night shift, I guess you could too. I'm not sure if that's wise. Sleeping seems like it would be wise. Watch that gauge when it twitches, you know, you're starting to touch the wood. That's at your depth for running the sander. You can feel right here, nothing, nothing, and then right there is where the, the belt starts to touch it. So we'll run it through, clean that pass up, and then we'll get a couple more passes on it. Get her nice and clean, it'll be ready to do something with. Running a white belt is a slow process. You don't get excited, you just let it do its job. You try to rush it, you burn stuff or tear up your rollers or wreck your machine. So, the best meat is the stuff that smokes slowly. Woodworking is best when it goes slowly too. A homemade adjustment rig here. Easier to get a fine adjustment than with the, the other option. A lot of times you start with 150 and then switch it over to the 220 we have it here now. For just a little job like this, we can do it just a straight 220, you just have to run it a little slower. 
don't take quite as much off on a pass, but a couple more passes, but you don't have to stop and switch papers, it's worth it. Lance is getting a whole stack of panels there. Ready to sand up tomorrow for this kitchen we got going on in progress here. Quite a few cabinets going in on that one, so we'll get them sanded up tomorrow while I'm finishing up this little install job here. Yeah, I wiped it on my shirt. These are my shop rags. They're like my favorite, most comfortable clothes. At night, I'm out here, there's no customers. I can wear whatever I want. I like my comfortable sweatshirt. We got this pocket hole together. Just gotta clean them edges nice and clean there. Sand it up. There we are, got to sand it up smooth. Now you gotta get the scratch marks out and out of the corners. And get ready for the spray booth. Not often you can do a whole project a little few minutes a night. We gotta notch this out, notch the back. Don't try this at home. trick we recommend doing even with the years of table saw experience that I have it still scares me half to death but sometimes you just got to do those things that don't always make sense so I'm gonna go ahead and get a sealer sprayed on this I'll let that dry while we're waiting on the waiting on that to dry we'll get the other part trimmed out the rest of the way put my shield on here sucks the air off the floor instead of directly off the sprayer. It just saves things from plugging up so bad out there. Somebody took my blow nozzle. That one's missing too. All I gotta do is step out of the shop for one day. Got it. Yes, I normally wear a hood when I spray. But sometimes you're doing just a couple little things and you can get sprayed out of the room before you actually start smelling the fumes. Safety fourth, I cheat sometimes. Yep, every now and then, you still gotta use a little handsaw. There's people that still like to use everything by hand. Hand power, chisels, hand saws. I appreciate electricity. It works better. All right, so it's all notched out. Just gotta put my top coat on that piece, pop it in there, screw it in place, staple it up to the bottom, it'll be ready to go in.